Hey there, Christopher here with a quick update before this week's episode. I just wanted to let you all know that we have a website at theworldstandard.com. That's all three words squished into one, dot com. The link is in the episode's description. Head on over and check out some behind-the-scenes content, some insight into each of our story arcs, as well as exclusive artwork done by us. While you're there, feel free to sign up for a monthly newsletter, The Standard News, where we run down what we are doing each month, including a release schedule and what we are recording and planning to record, as well as anything else we feel our listeners should know. Also, since I have you here, feel free to help us make this podcast continue to grow by donating through Anchor. The link, as always, is in the description, and is available on our website by clicking the Donate button at the top of the page, or at the bottom of the drop-down menu if you're visiting the site on your mobile device. We want to do more with the world standard, and in order for us to do that, we need the show to bring in a little security. I'm sure you understand, and if you feel like that is something you would be interested in doing, we would greatly appreciate it. We have big things planned for the future, and we can't wait to show you. With that out of the way, enjoy the episode, and uh, I guess, uh, don't sniff glue? Yeah! Welcome back to the Rolled Standard. I am your keeper of the doors, Nate Seibert. Joined with me today, I'm Christopher, and I play Chase Graves. Hi, I'm Levi, and I play Guy Fo. And I'm Jake, and I'll be uh, reprising my role as Charles. Charles. Charles Abramson. All right. Last we left off, the boys were in a hospital, an abandoned hospital that Guy had crashed into, ripped the boys through with his dimensional powers, and then Chase proceeded to use his powers to contact the ghost of James McCready. In the process, summoning death, and death being um, vaguely thwarted by the appearance of James himself. And that's where we left off. So, so you must be James McCready. I am. Wow, this worked out well then. So... I realized, I realized before, before I contacted, contacted you, I never, never asked, asked what questions we needed to ask, ask you. you. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's that's usually important, important but, but um, kind, of kind of being stuck, stuck in the veil, veil there. there. Mm-hmm. You, wouldn't you wouldn't think, think death, death is, is painful. painful? I mean, I guess I never thought, thought about, about it. it. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks. sucks. Mm-hmm. Plus, Plus, death itself, or him or her or whatever. I really think it's a dude. There are multiple. That one specifically is... A pain, a pain in the, in the ass. ass. Well, I've seen him, seen him naked. naked. That's, that's impressive. impressive. He shows, he shows up, up randomly. randomly. Yeah, he's a TV star too, so that's <laughs> that, that checks out. Yeah. Who the, Who fuck, the fuck are you guys anyway? Well, we're frozen. Apparently, Apparently these, these guys, guys think, think you were the D pick agent, were you not? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All, right, All right. Well, well we, we work for a group, group called the Division. division. Now no, I'm not sure if the timeline that you existed in and the one where this is the thing crossover. Or in other words, just give me a second here. And he just kind of passes his hand through your head for a second, and you feel just like a real cold chill go through your spine. Something that you felt before, but this one's like way more direct. And um, he kind of shakes his head, and he's like, okay, okay. All, right. all right. The division, the division at, least, at least, I can, I can feel, feel that. that. I mean, I, I can't, can't really, really... Things, things I don't, I don't have, have a connection, connection to are harder, harder to access. access. But, but um, um, I, wonder I wonder if Steve, Steve had anything to do with that. that. You know, you we know, didn't really let people... Well, well, people, people like, like you, you work, work. <laughs> back, back in the day. day. I mean, I, mean, I don't I mean, mean to be specious or whatever you guys are. Or bigot. <laughs> well, hey, hey, hey. hey I'm just, I'm, that's not what I'm trying. Hey, I didn't make the rules back then. It was the 60s. There were a lot of crazy things happening, all right? Fair enough. That's, that's interesting. interesting. And I'm actually glad that it's become more inclusive because we hung out with uh, a werewolf more than on occasionally. Mm-hmm. Um, um, wait, wait what, what, but what, what are you here, here for? for? Um, um, these, these guys, guys are just thinking, and I, 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 I'm new to this case. Um, I'm filling in for another, but these guys are under the impression that, and I'm willing to agree with them, that Hubert Salazar, it's a name I'm sure you remember, uh, may be attempting to open up a door to the apocalypse. And we are looking for him, essentially, to stop him. My God, I haven't heard that name and. I don't even know what year it is. It's 2025. Oh, shit. I didn't think I'd ever hear that name again. 
John and I tried to look for him for years. Hmm. Never found him? No, but I'll tell you right now, whoever he is, is not him. Oh, really? What do you mean? There was nothing about that boy that was the same as soon as he left, and I only knew him for 12 minutes. 12 minutes? I mean, after what happened in Arkham, Massachusetts. Hmm. I, I thought about it over and over and over again after that. It was a huge point of guilt for John for a couple of years as well. See, we were both connected to the consciousness of whatever creature they were trying to unleash that night. Which was what? God. What are they? Like the Voldemort shit? It has no name. He who has... Oh, it was that which shouldn't be. There it is. We were... It's something that I have covered in reports, but it's never anything that anybody understood until now, I'm sure. I, I, I felt it. John felt it, that it wasn't him. There's no reason why he wouldn't be there. I believe that the creature that was inside of that place, wherever it was, whatever it is, if it was a physical entity or not, or if it was an, a manifestation of our ideas of infinity, I, I don't know. But our minds were part of it. John became a normal person after melding his mind with it. it. I believe it made it out in his body somehow. That's unfortunate. So you think then that perhaps the soul, we'll go with that, of Hubert Salazar, the real Hubert Salazar is still behind that door. And that whatever the soul was behind that door is now in the body of Hubert Salazar. Or was at that point at least. I would bet my unlife on it. <laughs> That's not worth much. Uh, not anymore. No offense. Um, well... So, so my, my question, question now then is, if you were to look for Hubert Salazar now, as, as throughout this conversation, conversation, I'm realizing that you may not know what we need to find out. But if you were to look for him now, where do you think you would look? Or who would you uh, try to contact to help you? Because at this point, we're sort of at a loss as to where Hubert might be. <sighs> oh, fuck. I would really hate to bring him into it. John doesn't have the normal lifespan. Oh, that other agent. Than a normal human being would. Yeah, yeah what, what I read, read, he was a super soldier of sorts, a genetic agent. Uh, well, he became one for sure. Hmm. It became a almost a life's work for years. I had to give up before he did. Do you know where he is? <laughs> I'm sure that I was the only one who had the information before. I mean, if he's still around. He said that he was going to Silver Lake, Wyoming. Hmm. Wyoming. Not too far from there, I believe. We, we had gone there once for something petty and stupid now, but um, he liked it there. Okay. He's the only one I had to, you know, my, my age caught up with me way quicker than his, of course. That's believable. He went on. I'm not going to lie to you, though. He had some reasonable leads. Okay. The hard thing now is to know that if he's there, he's either still looking or he's given up and it's been... It's been a lifetime, nearly. So, it looks like our heading then is to see John. I thank you, James, for the insight you've given me and for connecting. Now, there's something I do with each spirit that I connect with. Do you have any unfinished business that needs attending to in the material world? If you do see John, tell him I'm sorry for blaming him. Ken, thank you. It's been a pleasure. I'm always happy to be of service when I can. Chase realizes this as he does it, that he reaches out for a handshake and realizes he's not going to be able to actually make physical contact, but he does it as a sign of old, traditional, you know, mm -hmm. camaraderie. And James slaps his hand through your hand and then back the other way, mm -hmm. and then, like, fist bumps through your hand that right. way. Of course. Yep, that's her thing. <laughs> and, then he, and then he dissipates from the hand out. Yeah, and then I open my eyes, and in the material world, and you two both just... We're there, I guess. Uh, yeah, and the papers are just falling down around you. So, Charles, guy, I talked to James McCready. He... You did already? That seemed rather quick. Yeah, time is weird when you're not here. Did um, you leave? I, in a way, hard to explain. I'm just kidding. I got to touch you a little bit, remember? Yeah, that was... It's hard to forget. Charlie, um, Charlie winks at you. <laughs> I, uh, Chase sees the wink and um, 
uh, like visually ignores it. Just kind of oh. looks away from it, like oh. like he's just uncomfortable with your weirdness about him. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is genuinely hurt by this, and uh, he's a big fan. I, I, I look at you, I look at I can bodies. see you're the hurt on your face, <laughs> and I am continuing to ignore that. <laughs> oh. I have a question for the keeper. Yeah. Um, I want some darkness tokens. Okay. <laughs> so I have uh, react with cold reason and logic, which I did throughout the whole conversation. Oh my god! And yes. also to him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, you sure the fuck did. Absolutely, sir. Take Just as many as you want. Left and I'm right. Take a whole four since I'm at a pull of zero. Absolutely. Um, cool. Go for it. Just take all seven. <laughs> I mean, I can. Well, I can only take two to four. <laughs> However, I'm at zero, so I'll take four. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so it sounds like James didn't really know where Huey is. But he does know where John Cena is. I'm sure you guys know who that is. Hold on. Do you mean the wrestler actor? No, everybody knows where he is. He, he died years ago. I didn't fucking know. He died two years ago. Uh, yeah, 2023. He died. He, he, he seems... We've been working so much. Did you not he... watch WrestleMania, whatever that was? I couldn't. We were in Africa during that time. Oh, right. Well, I was there, man. I mean. Oh, my God. This so. Guy... No. Little 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 uh backstory about about Charlie. He just loves cel- he loves celebrities. He reads the tabloids. That's that's why he's so fucking enthused mm. with Oberon and and Chase and obviously John Cena now. Right. Who isn't? <laughs> Who's dead? <laughs> Who's dead? Right. Yeah. Well thank you for making John Cena the actual wrestler actor dead. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> WrestleMania, whatever it was that year. Um John Cena, Undertaker, both of them came back. Okay, right? okay, okay. Let's you, you didn't see cut, this? Let's cut the bullshit. All right, I, fair enough. God, check your MySpace. Is he really dead? I, I look away from him and I turn back to Chase. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly did he say? He said that John is in Silver Lake, uh, Wyoming. Uh, well, that's the last place he knew he was. That's a tourist trap. Yeah, I've never, never been there. It's a very beautiful lake. I used to visit with... And so that's pretty much, uh, I think, our lead going finding John Cena, oddly enough. Well, how do you propose we do this? Uh, well, we're just uh, going to go to Silver Lake and take a fucking dive in the water. But I don't think he's in the water. How how far is Silver Lake from here? Lots of ways, but I'm sure with you, guy, there's nothing. Check. I mean, things your like distance. Also, space. Also, and I'm going to, as I say this, I'm going to demonstrate it. Um, mm-hmm. This room is dark, correct? Like, we're in the, there's no power in this place. No. Yes. Okay. No. I'm going it, to. It's, it's, there is moonlight coming through that hole that uh, Guy put through the wall. It is a very, there's plenty of shadows, in other words. Yes. Okay. Also, off so, in the uh, sky, there's just the ISS just fucking what burning it, up. <laughs> what, <laughs> yes. Is, isn't it daytime? Because this is the next day. It was the morning, it's true. When was we left, daytime. dusty windows. You were doing no, no, no. You were doing a, you were doing a, a investigation in a bread factory. Oh, it was. There's no then. way. Yeah, you're but right. You were just investigating a bread factory. That does because it. From, they go at night. From morning to that means we would have had to wait a whole. I wish he was. You did. Remember, factory. you were waiting for him and stuff. But and he never hours. An hour. Only an hour. Oh, maybe that's right. Yeah, that's mm. true. Well. Continuity errors. Deal yeah, with it. Well, that's Whoa! us. That is us. Almost every also, episode. you can make up for that whole continuity error and completely fix it by saying that his dimensional travel fucks with time. Yeah. Why well, else would you can. have? Now it can. Why else would you have? Yeah. Exactly. Also, you can't. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Now there we are. Fucked with time. Perfect. 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 We're so good at putting stories together yeah, and making it cohesive. Yeah, um, so yeah, okay. So I'm going, as, I, as I'm saying this, I'm demonstrating uh, what I'm doing here, and I, I'm probably gonna have to roll for this. But I'm going to put my hand in like this shadowy wall. Well, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! will send you to the shadow. I'm, I'm powering through darkness. Yes, do it, sir. You're gonna use any of that darkness tokens? Uh, I, I'm gonna use two, okay? Because I, it makes sense to do. It's reasonable. Um, so two plus six is an eight. Yeah, there I'm you right go. in there. I'm gonna keep it. Very good. Um, what so, do you wish to do with so your I'm, shadow I'm powers? I'm putting my a hand like into this shadow that's next to me, and it's coming out across the room, like in your guys' line of sight for sure. But you guys can see me like pass through the whole wall, and I'm on the other side of the room. Oh shit! So if there are shadows up there, which I guarantee there is, because there's got to be a room with no light. Uh, wait a minute though. I've never seen those rooms. Okay, MySpace, right? You're a big MySpace dude. Look up any place in um in Silver uh wait Silver Lake Silver Lake and uh, find pictures of places. There's, there's you know what I might also no... hold on just to Google I'm, I'm, I googled it. There yeah. probably is a building. There probably why well, there's a building everywhere. Knows. There's probably a gas there station around there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, uh, I find a picture of the lake, and there's a shadow of a tree. <laughs> That's all I need. Well, yeah, there's a lot of trees, dude. I'm showing in my phone. Look at this. Look at all this shady tree area. Guy, I'm telling you, there are no places with 
Yeah, those are trees with mm -hmm. shadows. Okay, very good. Yeah, right. I mean, also, he can get there too. It barely matters. <laughs> I need to call Paul, though. Because he, I, I told him I was going to come back to the hotel room, and I don't know what, look at my Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Is Paul coming okay, on it's just the next adventure? Day. Well, I, I kind of want to film something if something's worth filming. And I need Paul. So uh, if you'll excuse me, guys, I'm going to make a quick phone call. I'm going to dial Paul. All Jesus right. Christ. And I teleport out, and I grab Paul, and I come back. I'm going to roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of that either. <laughs> oh my god, that delivery though. Oh my uh, god, so that's beautiful. I'm using one darkness. Okay. And, what uh, are you being affected again by? Is it just being merciless? Uh, yeah. Yep, there you go. Beautiful. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, Ooh. So that's six, and I'm gonna use my bond with Paul. Hmm. 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 Uh, one with Chase and the darkness. All right. Go for it, friend. Because this is his buddy, and that's an eight. I got you then. Those are very valid points. Oh, for real. He's yeah. role-playing well. You grab Paul. <laughs> uh, you, oh. you pull him out of his hotel room. Thank you, guy. Yeah. Uh, Paul, I was just going to put... Uh, you couldn't grab hands? Is this guy, guy? hyperventilating? Because he had a really rough time with Charlie. That's true. I feel like going through the weird portal thing from a different dimension is going to give Paul a heart attack. Keep daddy? I keep daddy. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is... Where the fuck am I? Okay. Oh, God. Hi, buddy. He's not oh, Charlie. my God. Yeah, he's not Charlie. <laughs> oh. uh, I apologize for his abruptness with you. Uh, he seems to have forgotten you without pants. I, I grab oh. a pair of, like, a dirty uh, hospital nightgown that's right next oh, to God. us and throw it at him. Someone probably died in How? Oh. Put, put those... How on. old is this? Does uh. it matter? At least we don't have to see his penis. Anymore. I mean, I guess, I guess not. Um, what am I here for? Um, we're going to Wyoming, Paul. Cool. Uh, I suppose you don't have guy. Uh, he doesn't have any of his stuff or the van. You have a cell phone. Who's he gonna call to get it? Where the it? fuck am I gonna keep you, a cell phone you, on my naked you body? You have a cell phone. I think he's. Oh, well, let me call Paul. Oh wait, him, no, never mind. Let him Damn record. <laughs> you know how many YouTubers record with just an iPhone? Yeah, this isn't YouTube. Get this over is it. TNT. Turner <laughs> Network Television. Yeah, you you ever watched that movie? That movie where they're like Charlie. First Charlie person? sits down in a wheelchair. There's tons of those. Yeah, start doing wheelies. Do yeah. it. No, he's just <laughs> watching. I don't want to sink low. I want to compromise. Can it. I wait? Stop. You can I not Paul. be here doing this? Uh, no. Fuck. I'm your boss. <sighs> However, we do kind of need to go back to Albuquerque and get your stuff. Well, there was the one thing that I did want to tell you about Albuquerque. I couldn't get a hold of you. Nothing is working, which is great. Oh, how did I get this? Oh, I saved it. Mm -hmm. Nope, that doesn't make sense. No, him. Proximity. Oh, right, the conduit. Yep. Yeah, okay, that works out. Conduit. Yeah, nothing is working. Like, people were freaking out about it, but hmm. you can only be awake with screaming people so long. Guys, I don't know anything everyone. about that. Well, that's not... That's not the most important issue. The uh, the screaming I was talking about was not only just about that. It was about the fact that there are people now all over Albuquerque, New Mexico, puking up black water. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. And I am going to mark down another tick on the doomsday clock, my Guy. friends. Oh. Guy, it sounds like Eric hasn't fulfilled his mission. He may be in trouble, too. We should hurry. What is Eric trying to do? I guess I never got that from you guys. We don't really know. Oh, All we okay. know is he disappeared, mm -hmm. and then we needed you to continue our mission. He's oh, right. got a very one-track mind, and he's upset. I assume he's trying to fulfill his own prophecies, always bantering on about Yeah, um, you guys didn't oh, let right. me finish. This is worse than that. Oh. Go ahead, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sorry. There's uh. There's there's worse news. That's I mean, if there were going to be good news and bad news, uh, the good news is that I'm not throwing up black water. I appreciate that. Yeah, agreed. Either because we. the people that first started changing, changing, mm, changing, um, they're all I assume what is dead now. That's not good. Um, like how they started to lose their form, uh, literally turning into. Do you get footage of this, Paul? Oh, you better fucking believe I do. Fuck yeah, that boy. Like oh, my to, God. I'd like to grasp for a key right here. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, Levi. Go for it, my friend. Go for it. Slap your arm all night. <laughs> oh, that's a three. All right. Well, I don't, I don't have.
have any bonds. Oh God, no! Even then, it wouldn't make a difference. Yeah, you gotta. What's uh? Bonds? I mean, every, I've got every NPC in the game so far. Literally, <laughs> Charlie's all. I'm, I'm going to. All he's got is bonds. <laughs> I'm going to uh, mark a ruin for this key. Mm. Oh boy. So what what does that do if I mark ruin? You're just closer to that ruin mark. Okay, and, because um, it's my first marked ruin. Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. You don't gotta worry too much about that. Mm. Tell me what uh, the lowest thing on uh, grasping for keys is then. Pencil but in pusher. doing so, the keeper will reveal how you come closer to becoming a harbinger. Well, well, well. Disregard for the people that are actually turning into monsters. Uh, because, so what the darkness demands of me is to, to resurrect my people at the expense of humanity and to destroy all life on Earth. So so if they're changing... Maybe I don't give a fuck about these yep, people. You would not give a shit. And no, you absolutely don't. Your merciless nature in this moment, especially... Yeah. Um, while he's just a fucking solid role player, <laughs> while while Paul is explaining all of this to you, you your irritation shows more than usual, and um, you remembering that he has no shit on him. Um, you open up a portal, almost almost unintentionally, and it is in the the portal is in the ceiling, but what you see from the ceiling is a sideways look at. Uh, Paul's hotel room and all of his shit just falls out into the middle of this fucking this hospital room just Ooh. dressers and beds crashing and shit like that I'm efficient and oh. then and I and that including including all of his camera gear and his clothes and shit man it's a good thing you had those pelican cases Paul does, does that camera does <laughs> fucked? Uh, it, not fucking uh, well this is well this is perfect actually not sponsored. I don't get <laughs> I don't actually give a shit about the uh I don't actually give a shit about the hotel, but to not have my penis in the wind mm -hmm. would be very nice. Plus, you I gave you pants. You yeah. gave me a fucking tunic. Shut up. Paul's angry. Just give that. me a second, okay? Yeah. I'm I'm naked in the middle of a fucking abandoned hospital. Okay. Who sleeps naked? I barely know me. I I I do. I do. <sighs> if the sheets are clean. Here, I'm gonna grab. <laughs> let me grab my clothes. Before or after. <laughs> let me grab my clothes. You go on ahead and look at this shit. And he takes the camera out and he hands it over to Chase. Ooh. And while he walks away, you uh, start watching the video. Paul, hold on. I don't know how to use this and you know that. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. And he walks over and he clicks the, the button that is very obviously marked play. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> and then he walks back to go get changed. And while you're watching this video, it's exactly what, you, you're, it's exactly what he was describing. There were people in the hotel that were... Um, while he was walking back in, this is why he was like so concerned about this. There were people outside of the hotel and in the lobby that were that had black shit all over their faces, and there are people that are getting carted into ambulances that are throwing up this black, disgusting shit. And while you're watching this, it's getting like more and more like horror movie looking until out of nowhere, water just starts pouring out of the screen. Oh. And, the, and then the camera the the camera just fizzles and dies. And, Paul, you um, have to buy a new camera. And uh, your key here is a digital camera with a strange video. When played, water pours out of the screen. That's a neat trick. That's a cool party trick. So, Paul, you got a new cam you need a new camera. This one's wet. And also, this footage was worthless. I wasn't in any of these scenes. But it is interesting nonetheless. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean I need a new camera? Uh, yeah, I wasn't in any of these scenes. So you've got to scrap that footage. Yeah, the footage is fine. I mean, I don't know about that, but, uh, yeah, the ca oh, the cam yeah, uh, the camera's really wet. I don't know what you did with it, but, Fucking uh, how? He runs over and he's looking at it and the water's still pouring out of the screen. Yeah, see what I mean? It's full of water. What, what the, wait, 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 what is Paul, happening here? Paul, Paul, put the camera down. I don't think you should oh my be God. touching that. It oh my seems God. almost like to me that any human You don't even know the loan I had to take out for that. You want to take out another one? Paul. Chase. Put the camera down because if the water affects you like the other humans, you're shit. Going and he backs away. To and he, die. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, Charlie's going to touch Paul and mm -hmm. see if his flesh is being transformed by this. Ooh, use some darkness power, sir. Oh shit. Juicy. Because <laughs> all the water. I will. Because <laughs> all the water. Cause you gotta get the water running. All right. I'll use one darkness token. Nine. Ah, there you go. You're good, man. Absolutely. What was I doing? Unleashing the dark? What am I doing? You were uh, powered through darkness. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you touch Paul, and you you can tell that he has been affected by it. Not by this camera right now, but uh, earlier on. Probably, probably 
not too long before he went to bed. Let me ask you a question then. Mm -hmm. With Charlie's ability and what, I don't know exactly what this is doing, but can Charlie stop this from taking him Are over? Are you going to try and, like, Legend this of Korra, metal, metal poison, pull this out of his body? Yes. Nice. And if I can't do it, unfortunately, Paul's being absorbed. No, honestly, this is what I'm going to tell you right now. It, I, I, love, I love your excitement for that idea, but uh, the ability to touch him and see if he was poisoned isn't a horrible thing for you to have to roll, and I figured that if... I figured that if it succeeded, he was going to be affected by it, and you could just fix him. Mm. You're going to suck him off? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's actually a blow through the anus. So oh, no. oh, man, what inverted. sound does that make? No, no, like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. What, what's Paul's uh, inclination? Okay. Uh, so as Charlie's touching him and he realizes that Paul is indeed infected, uh, he, he kind of, while holding his hand, he looks up at Paul. Paul, I know that you don't quite trust me, but if you want to continue living after this brief moment, I'm going to have to dig inside of you a bit. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Well, it's not like I that, tell Paul. you what, if you want to be alive... No, no, that one, that part right there. Perfect. Yeah, that that was that was okay. I'm going to need you to sit down because this is going to hurt a lot. <sighs> and without letting him sit down, he just does it. <laughs> he just falls straight to the ground. Is he screaming? No, like just completely he goats? comatose. So, yeah. goats. <laughs> yep, absolutely. So from fainting while goat. Charlie has his hand pressed against Paul's uh, kind of bare chest because this gown, I, I guess, is in disrepair after 30 yeah, years. Yeah, he, he of got his pants middle. and his socks on, but he didn't get to that part yet. Okay, all right. So weird order free, fucking free balling <laughs> with pants and socks on, <laughs> and I'm touching his chest, and uh, Charlie feels the stagnant black water in the flesh, and it, it because of my my powers. I'm able to feel it intertwining with the flesh, and I'm going to absorb that cursed flesh into Charlie's body. Ooh, that's an interesting thought, sir. I'm not going to just get rid of it. I'm going to absorb this cursed flesh okay. into my body just like it did Mariano. Mark Ruin? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that yet. We don't I, know that You yet. know what? Honestly, you succeeded really well on this, and I... I no, I can't. I, I can't do it because I feel like if you would have if you would have failed one way or the other, I feel like that would have been the outcome from you trying, and it would have been a bad thing. But because you're so aware of it and so keen to so keen to its uh, uh, presence in you, it's something that you can keep inside of your body in a separate spot, like a like a weird little pokeball inside of your body. Like he's got a tumor. Kind of. No. On, remember, his wait, no. Wait, 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 <laughs> on the back of his neck. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah. wait a minute. So remember how Mariano holds his, Mariano's hand actually clasped over over yeah. Charlie's heart when he's got Mariano absorbed? Mm -hmm. Within that hand now is the infected tissue just balled up. There you oh, go. Pretty weird. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm and down it, with that. now yeah. it's an enclosed fist over the heart that's holding infected tissue. Let's get a little meta for a moment. If we get into a big um, ass fight, I'm fucking infecting whatever the harbinger is with this tissue. Well, and I like it. It's I like literally it. the harbinger, I th I'm thinking. Oh, it could be actually. But mm. uh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> random power through darkness to hold it inside you doesn't sound bad either in my head. Oh, oh. If he, I, I feel like if there's a moment, if, because this game is so emotionally tethered to everything that you do, there is a very good possibility. You right? want me to fight to keep No, this? not right now. Not right now. You're good now, man. Well, at a pressure yeah, point. Yeah. Yes. Gotcha. You know? That makes sense. Sounds, it does make sense. Man, I got bonds for days. So. That's yeah, you true. Do. Yeah. That, All right. That's how we survive. <laughs> I, I won't. And then, no. I promise you. I am I am the new age Huey. Uh, I have oh. a weird feeling that something bad's going to happen to it's me. It's a really gross version. I'm probably just going to die. I mean, I don't think death is a thing here. It just seems like you get overwhelmed emotionally, and then that's and then, then you freak out and run away. Oh, okay. yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Right, so, There's no such thing as death. <laughs> so uh, Charlie, oh, so, Charlie saved Paul from the the uh, La Llorona, La Llorona curse. Is sure. that what it's called? What the La Llorona? The double L makes a Y sound. Yeah. La Llorona. La Llorona. Ya la Rona? Close. Ah, I can't fucking... You're clear, closer. <laughs> Man, I okay. can barely fucking English, all right? So, Fair. take um, it. Does yeah. it look like anything on your chest? Like like a black water okay, so, or, so between like fingers? Or? I, I guess that makes sense. All right, so when it's enclosed in his fist, it actually has like water 
and vapor it, it's almost like it's evaporating Ooh, but like at it. the same time falling back down on the hand so it's like a constant mini little fucking ecosystem of just sludgy water falling over the evaporation this hand. and condensation yeah, like, like a black happening. mist yeah. surrounding the hand the veins now. inside of his hand look black too hell yeah oh that makes sense get wet get wet i mean i'm always black wet. wet and That's then um then paul wakes up coughing up water fresh as a brita just <laughs> coughing sense. up water because of the purifier, yeah, right? Because of carbon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <coughs> Paul, <laughs> oh god, yuck, Paul. That didn't taste as bad as I thought it would. Paul, yeah, I'm listening. You okay? Charlie's. Yeah, I'm, <sighs> Charlie's actually kind of slumped. Yeah, over I'm all right. right now. This is actually. I would consider this. Would this be considered a, like a lot of evil for Charlie to be trying to just hold on to, or Wait. um at the ver at this very moment, no. No, I mean, okay. like, at least your perception of it right now, whether or not you. So it's not affecting me until it affects me. That's that's where we're. Yeah, going. like okay. you can I definitely. Just, I just yeah, sure. you can right. definitely Sorry. feel its presence in you, and it is something that is um, staggeringly powerful, even in even in its um, this this tiny amount, as if it was like uh, I don't know, not something that was diluted, you know, concentrated Yo, evil. Fuck yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, this Paul. has been a long twenty minutes. What are we doing? We're going to Silver Lake, Wyoming. Okay, so that's... Okay, we're actually doing that. I don't see why not. Okay, well, I figured that after the camera thing... Oh, right, Best Buy. Charlie's <laughs> going to extend his hand out. <laughs> Paul, here. And I'll, I'll pull Paul up if you'll accept my hand. Yeah, absolutely. Do uh, I, during this interaction with Paul, yes. get a bond with Absolutely, Paul? fucking you Thank do. You. Absolutely you. you do. I was just going to say that, sir. You took the words right out of my mouth. I have no space for Paul. I got to add some more notes. Paul, sucked him dry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Um, <laughs> um, oh, yeah. And uh, Chris, just because I forgot to say it, getting to bond with James McCready. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jimmy. One bone. Jimmy boy. Jimbo equals one. I wrote Jimbo equals one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take a small break here, and uh, we'll, we'll come back with the action. <laughs> All right. As we come back, everybody's still standing in this hospital room. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for Paul to put his pants on. Oh, he has them on everybody's shirt. Yes, his shirt on. Yeah, Paul, just pick one. Just any, any, any shirt's fine. I'm, I'm going to walk over there, grab the, the, the both of the shirts in his hands, push the right one into his chest. I don't know what it is. And then the other one, just throw it over my shoulder. Let's go! Oh, man. Black Dolly murder? All right. That's a good choice. <laughs> All right. What use am I now? What do you want from me? Oh, uh... Charlie picks you're up... You're the cameraman. You know this. Oh, right, camera. Best Buy it is. Well, actually, hold on. I, I've got another quick question. Can Charlie pick up this camera? And I know that it's a key, but can he somehow use his newfound weird juice to, like, stop it and use this thing as a an upgraded camera for Paul? Like, he gets his own level up. Do you have tech manipulation? So he, that's a good point. <laughs> um, so this key is every time this camera plays, it pours liquid out of it. He just can record and never play it. Well, that's a useless footage then if you can't ever use it. Unless you could export it. It's it's going to be oh, raw shit, footage, and then All you right. can export All right. it eventually. I thought maybe I'm I could saying. help good old Paul out. I'm trying to be friends with the motherfucker. Well, I... Oh, shit. Well, I am an engineer, but I'm not going to fucking help Paul. You know, you also, though, you could probably just interdimensionally just like steal something from a fucking Best Buy. Just yeah. boop, shelf. <laughs> Am I gonna have to fucking power through darkness for that bullshit? Because I don't wanna. <laughs> then you don't have then to. Don't do it. <laughs> Warps a whole. I'll do it light. through the shadows and a closed one once yeah. they close. <laughs> Warps a whole Best Buy into the Best Buys hospital. don't close until nine. All right. Well, well if wait till ten. Well, if that's the case, then <laughs> I will. Um, I will be a uh, silent passenger until that moment, and then I will be more silent. Charlie hands over his cracked phone. Where? <laughs> that's what I was gonna. I was gonna steal your phone and give it to him. Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! What the fuck? <laughs> well, this is worse than my phone, but all right. Yeah, just throw that away and use your phone, Paul. Thank you. Throws it over his shoulder. Wait, <laughs> pictures of Anne. No, yeah, that, that that just hit the ground. It, he he picks it up. Is it even more cracked? Roll, yeah, but it still works. It, roll for oh. the crack. Okay. No, don't <laughs> not don't even. make me do that. I'm I'm already fucking. Yeah. Grimacing about the next step here. Can we get out of this place? It smells like fucking mothballs and shit. Yeah, let's go. 
What? You're a shadow guy. You're going to teleport us to a tree. Oh, yeah. Rig is ready. For oh, I can only do that to myself, though. I can meet you there, though. But that's fucking useless. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, not for me, it's not, but I guess yeah. it is for the group. He's a I mean, that's he like, we gotta think of the group. That's Cause right. Because I, I figured you'd just fucking shadow the whole room and just be like, oh, I mean, shit, I could try man. it. You know what? I've never tried that. I, I, you know, I'm not the most creative when it comes to this shit, but let me try it. He's never even tried to shadow me before. No, I'm, well, you don't know that, but I mean, oh. well, you're, you're right. You're right. I didn't. Okay. Uh, well, um, never tried any weird shadow crap with you. Whatever you need to do, let's hurry this up. Well, fuck. Okay, let me try this. All right. I mean, I don't really know what to do. I'm just, I guess, do I use my hands? I don't, hold on. I'm just going to think about it. I'm going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> roll, my friend. Power through darkness. I'm going to use the, my, my last two darkness tokens. All righty. So two plus 11 <laughs> is 13. Oh, you fucking did it. Oh, um, boy. I, I could bring Yugi it down boy. to 10. But you sent me to the Shadow Realm. You've never done it before. I'm going to just hit with a fucking the overachieve. So I'm on the edge of disaster. I can either mark a condition to exert better control, or I can let the keeper tell me how the situation is not under my control. Ooh, that's a pretty heavy one. I'm going to uh, mark a condition. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to, but I saw the whole, like, not in control. I'm like, ooh, that's going to be kind of mm -hmm. difficult. What conditions do you have? Does that I say obese? Obsessed, <laughs> which is one of them. <laughs> oh, uh, the, yeah, he just gets fat all of a sudden. Um, not that anything wrong with that, but yeah. I consume shadows. Yeah, I just I ate the shadows. I'm fine now. <laughs> no, uh, uh, lonely, distracted, vicious, and obsessed. Uh, I like distracted. Yeah, that oh, definitely I'm... sounds like how you've been. So I've already been playing that. Can I get yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they play him very distracted. <laughs> but it makes a lot of sense that that's the first thing that he would become is yes. more distracted. You're such a good role player. I know. It's because of the time. <laughs> Dude, it's been like 20 years. Come on. <laughs> right? All right. Well, this it... would be so easy to gain darkness now. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so easy. Um, oh, yeah, okay, well, so... um... You mark a condition, and you d d tell me how you do it, friend. Okay, so I'm just sitting there on the floor, confused, right? Like, he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's, he's just pushing it out there, right? You guys are just watching him just, like, sit there on the floor. At one point, he, like, opens up one of his eyes to look at you guys, and he's, like, kind of gives you, like, a, a, <laughs> like a reassuring <laughs> nod that it's happening. Guy's tapping his toes. Right. Oh, my God. This is not very unusual from what he usually does anyway, so. Shh, I need quiet. Oh, shh, sorry, sorry. I think. I don't know. So he's... He's kind of concentrating, and eventually you see like the dark in the room becoming darker, and it's all kind of eking out of him, like he's like a like an octopus just getting out of ink. That didn't <laughs> sound right. That didn't yeah. sound right at all. <laughs> um, and then it started to envelop the entire room, and you guys are all kind of in it as well. I think it's working. I think, I think so. Yeah, don't go. Don't open your eyes. It's really cold. It is very fucking cold. And then eventually the whole room is just blacked out, which like just just like complete absence of light. You can't see your hand in front of your face. You can't see the glasses you're wearing. And then it just blinks away, and we're sitting there beneath the trees by Silver Lake. Fucking right you are. Or we are. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> I, think it, I think it worked. Boy, there's an awful lot of people roaming this lake. Yeah, who are those guys? I assume they would be tourists. Oh, God, we gotta stay away from them. Right. They're gonna recognize me. All right, we're here now. What are we looking for? Are we just going to ignore what just happened? Because that was pretty cool. That yes, was really it was. cold. And then when it snapped back, it's like slammed shut. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. I right, did. Charlie holds up a hand for a high five, and out of his palm stretches out Mariano's hand for an extended high five. I'm just going to like hold it up and um, like hesitate and then just kind of give in and Go slap on. your hand. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Reluctantly, but you know, he did it. I will remember this forever. Okay, now what? Don't doubt that. Did you need a fourth for this? Uh, yeah, someone's got to hold the camera, Paul. There is no camera to hold. Like the I said before, just put the phone on got the cord. It, got it. Yep, got it right phone. here. It will we'll, we'll, we'll settle this once. It's not like Chase will be, ever be able to do that shadow thing again. Probably. I mean, I wonder if I can. I'm, so I want to... Uh, you've been... I'm asking him to... Someone to doubt their future, his future possibility of uh, being able to do that again. Oh, just to gain some darkness. <laughs> doubt, doubt your future ability. I I'll give know. you two for it. Okay, thanks. I need it. I mean, he's been merciless this entire time. He I has. think you can if give it, it was to him. A, oh, fuck yeah. No, he's been embodying that condition. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, if you want to embody dip. a condition as well, you can do that as well if you want. No. Any any other amount of darkness. Oh, I've I've been embodying that in a condition for. Well, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm gonna he's gain fucking... two more darkness. Too. Okay, okay. <laughs> just for a safety net. Are you peeking? No. Just edging. Okay. Mm, I'm edge lord. Mm. 
know what that means. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are Ashy. out in the wilderness. Well, not the wilderness necessarily, but you're out in the woods of Wyoming in the mountains. <laughs> okay. How, how are we going to find this guy? I guess we just asked the locals. What guy? John Cena. We're looking for John Cena. He not, died two years ago. Not him. No, I know. Not, I said the same thing. Not the rest. You, you remember I that, dude? You remember that? Ball. That was that was, mean, that was like that was the first time we ever did anything like that. Wasn't fuck. work. That was brutal. Wait, fuck. You yeah, did yeah. a case on John Cena. No, no, we went to WrestleMania. Okay, okay, we okay. Saw, <laughs> we're getting off track. To explain this. <laughs> you can mark some. You can you can grab some darkness if you want. <laughs> For what? For Pete Oh, no, I didn't even realize that. Oh, I'm gonna take a whole fucking whopper, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Getting that quattro. Getting fucking Charlie involved in that shit, you son of a bitch. Can I get in a bond with Charlie for getting him involved? In oh shit. <laughs> yes. Can I get yes. in a bond with Paul for WrestleMania? <laughs> <laughs> oh my I suppose, god. No. Yeah. Can no. I? Yes. Well, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, he's a new player coming in. He didn't have I didn't have shit. With, yeah. so I, I started I with none. Okay none. With something. Yep. So. All right. What do you guys do? Well, I think we should go find the locals. Charlie walks up to the nearest person and touches them. I Without don't asking permission? Yeah. He's not he's just not a, he's not a threat. <laughs> Wait, just a stranger coming out of the woods to just touch. Just a stranger. A, he's he's a sixteen year old boy. Oh. oh my god. Never mind. Scratch all of this. You've ruined it for me now. No. i okay. Charlie's you see <laughs> him learning how to jerk off over the last four years. Oh, oh. But knows nothing about this because this is a vacation destination. Well, I, I had so somewhere I was going, but this is another sperm sample heard. situation, so I'm I'm j I'm gonna back out. And, yeah, okay, uh, okay, okay. Then maybe rethink <laughs> your motive. Find another fourth. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you, you telling me I have to leave, or you leave? Both. <laughs> Find another two. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Welcome to Nate and Chris's solo podcast. <laughs> one GM, one player. <laughs> A thousand uh, games. Quality. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm, I'm going to ask this guy. Before you go touch anybody, and before you start wearing them out with your lumpy-ass forehead, assuming that you have a lumpy-ass forehead, I don't know what you look like. <laughs> you see my forehead. Yeah, it looks pretty lumpy. That's why I said that. I just don't want to offend you, so I don't know if you consider it lumpy. So either way, let's go ask these um <laughs> these these kids on their bikes here um if just what's up. Hey, Chase Graves, you know from the show. Holy shit, dude! I think that's Chase Graves. It dude. is Chase oh Graves. Oh my god, I'm so. Oh my god, we gotta get his autograph. I mean, uh, well, do you, you think, think he'd give it to my us? My bag of weed. Is that? Oh my god. You don't even always, know. What do you mean I don't know? Hey, I smoke more whoa, 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 whoa. weed than you Shut your up, shut up. You don't know. They're excited to see me. Chase, Chase, can I have your autograph, please? Oh, for sure. Oh, my God. Why do you sound like a small child? Uh, I do? Not you, him. Hey, you, fuck uh, you. Are you guys okay? We're high. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Go on. What do you, you uh, well, I mean. On what? what? Wait, wait, what do you need? Okay, uh, well, maybe that. But also, um, are you guys from around here? Yeah, we yeah. we actually live uh, from the town. It's just it's a small town. There's only like 33, 33 people. My mama Ooh. told I'm not me. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, but I saw you on the TV, so I don't think you're a stranger. Nope, that I'm, qualifies. I'm a real big fan. Who isn't? Uh, so what do you need to know? I'm looking for a man that you might know. He might live around here. Um, okay. A bald guy, tall. That goes by the name John Cena, and it's not who you're thinking. <sighs> who would I be thinking? You know the wrestler. Timmy. Oh, you guys might not. Timmy. Pretty young. As Timmy. Well. Yes, Carter. Do you, do you think he's talking about the little, the little, the little hermit that lives down and down at the base of the mountain on the other side? Probably am. That disgusting old bearded fuck. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah, I mean he's bald, but what what average white American man isn't bald these days? Ah, I can think of a few. Yeah, mm. yeah. There's a lot that aren't. Yeah, one one out of four probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm assuming that, I'm assuming that That took me a moment. <laughs> oh. I'm like, is that a real statistic? I'm like, at the table it is! Oh, oh that was wonderful, Jake. Oh, my oh. God. You're oh welcome. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm sweating. You're I'll laughing be, so hard I'm, that there's a vein in your balls. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Carter. I'll be here all day. Oh, my God. It's a good one, Carter. Uh, Thank you. Let me get a bond with you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you, oh my a bond God. with Carter and Timmy? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Can I call, I'm going to oh. call it... Bond with the boys. Bond the, boys. With the boys. Okay. Yeah, just one bond, two boys. That's All it. right. So I, I'm gonna continue <laughs> oh on God. with this though. So look, Chase. Uh, it's kind of like he's kind of like a spooky story. We don't really talk to him, but we, he he's sometimes helpful. He he does. 
He takes care of the animals. For the love here. of God, please just spit it out already. All right, you get excuse, and he's 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 bodyguard. He's uh, a body. Oh, that makes. Can I have his autograph too? That's what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a bodyguard. I, for Chase I'm going Graves. to fly to these boys and pick them up by their shirts. Hey, whoa, 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 guy. Hold, Hold on. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my God. How far can you please, fly? Please, please tell us where to go. Okay. Well, if you take me for one How short are you trip. Even, Carter, we have to get out of here. Okay, but hold on. One it's short fine. trip, I'll tell you exactly I'm, where I'm you... just going to shoot straight up with these boys. Ah! And then come back down. <laughs> yeah, Timmy pisses everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> on himself. He's wearing Yeah, pants. well, yeah, he's got pants for sure. They're, Carter, they're actually swim trunks, Carter. though. They're at the lake, so <laughs> they're ki- it's kind of everywhere. <laughs> it's just raining. Hey, uh, so you just get, like, get down <laughs> here. He just get down here now. Follow my instructions so I can gain darkness tokens. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my triggers is ask someone to follow my instructions. <laughs> I'm gonna stay up in the air then. <laughs> I'll give you one for that. All right, fair enough. All I right, didn't two. listen to him. Is it minimum? Okay, two. I'll go. Yeah, two. Right. Yeah, it's minimum. Yeah, okay, two. I'm at Paul's... six. <laughs> Do you have, dude? If you if you go over five, I thought it was seven. No, it's no, five, it's five, bro. Oh! You oh, got a ruin. Oh, oh, you got a ruin. I'm ruined. No, I'm, I'm at the breaking point. No, that's what the bad is. I get ruined then. Yeah. Oh boy. You took way too many distractions. I'm very distracted. Yes, he's yeah, a very distracted yeah. boy. Yes, indeed. Okay. So I'm not. I already I, have a ruin. So I'm already coming down when he says that. So I'm not really listening to him. But he instructed you. He didn't. But it, I it was already coming down. It doesn't say it, that you have to listen. I, yeah, I always have to ask you. Yeah. Uh, I was already coming down. Yes, that's oh, very true. Just give him the goddamn ruin. <laughs> Fine. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm back down to zero again then. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Shit. I marked a ruin. Okay, perfect. I'm not too no, ruin, don't, actually. Don't let this man to be distracted Wait, so when you anymore. mark ruin, you lose He's going to your... become the harbinger if before you we even have a chance dar- to figure out what's going fucking on. If you on. get all your darkness, <laughs> if you get all your darkness, you mark ruin and bring it down. Good to remember. Okay. All right, so as guys bringing down the boys, we will tell. We will just straight up tell him. Like, I, Carter got his fucking free ride. He's, he's fucking happy. And Timmy's t- terrified of this insane, lumpy-headed... Fly man. He's not lumpy headed. Uh, he he said it, so that's looks he's to be. wearing a mask. I know. You don't see it. Hey, Mister. That if there was, was there. Hey, Mister. That was a lot of fun. Look, that was super super exciting. Timmy, Timmy, you. He's throwing up. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna have to go back to our mom and dad. But you know what? If you take the road down, you go about five miles. Take a left, and you're gonna take a right at the big sign. It's gonna say Silver Lake. And uh, you just take a right there, and you're going to have to go about 20 yards straight. And then there's going to be this weird-ass, uh, like, hut. So we're just looking for a weird hut, okay. This kid's good with directions. Yes. Well, John's actually a pretty cool guy. He taught me a lot about the woods and how to be safe around the animals. Oh. But he's actually just staying at the little hut down there. Nobody really bothers him. He might have some ties. I don't know. Okay, kid. Uh, you want an autograph, and uh, we'll send you on your way. Um, we got some things to do. I just want to be investigated just like you are with the ghosts. Oh, yeah. No. I, I like to learn about creepy things. But thank you. And Carter grabs Timmy's terrified hand and fucking brings his brother back to the lakefront. Your older brother? Yes. <laughs> yep. 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 So, guy, that was weird. He's ultra high. Also, <laughs> oh, we forgot to get that weed from Oh, I was. We got my own. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so, it looks like we have to go to that hut. Also, did you have to do? You know, that was, that was a little mean. They're kids. I, mean, I realize you're an alien. I, I mean, they had. I mean, okay, okay. It, it's actually really convenient that the first two kids that we found had all of the information that we needed. That is kind of convenient. Well, it sounds like John is a popular uh, animal enthusiast here. Sounds that way. That seems weird. Well, let's not waste any time then. Is this something that we need to record? Uh, yes. Is this, is this guy spectral? Perhaps. I'm not okay. too sure what to expect. Okay, with okay. This. let's just hurry up and get this over with. We have to get back to Albuquerque. Uh, yes, shit is happening in Albuquerque oh, for very good sure. Point. Very good point. And then you can stop at your fucking Best Buy. I, I, I got the iPhone. I don't care. Let's go. Let's get you, to you cared earlier when it wasn't good enough. T and T cares, <sighs> but it doesn't matter. Let's go. We got shit to do. I'm gonna go check out those kids for that weed though. I'm gonna fly. <laughs> I'm gonna fly the way they fucking said to go. Just alone? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, Charlie's just fucking hanging back with 
chase. You're not gonna he run can't, after. Well, I can't fucking fly. You what did you want before me? with your fucking bat suit. That's I, true. I I got <laughs> thrown glided. in the yeah. I glided <laughs> with a fucking catapult. Yeah, it's like gargoyles. The TV. We show. we we literally have no transportation, so okay, okay. no. Nope. He just took off. <laughs> he just took off. Yeah. All right. Well, um, while these guys are sitting at a lake, you head to this strange little hut. Oh, God, no, please, no. You've done this to yourself, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. Um, I'm going to land and knock on the door. Um, you come to this place, and it looks it looks crafted by a man who doesn't quite know carpentry, but he looks it looks like it's crafted by a man who doesn't quite know carpentry, but... Are there a it's lot of fa- gaps? It's far more functional than you would think. No, 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 no. It's just more about... It's crooked? That eye, mm. you know? It's a strange little place, and you go up and you knock on the door, and you wait, and you wait a minute longer. John? John Cena? From the right side of the woods, you hear a rustling of leaves and twigs breaking, and a man, a large man, who looks way too jacked for his age, steps out with a large beard. Bald? He's definitely bald because he genetically could not grow hair on top. <laughs> One in four. <laughs> One in four. One in four bastard chief cannot grow hair. <laughs> what are you doing on my property? And you hear the sound of a shotgun being cocked. Well, I'm going to uh, stop time and fly over there and grab his shotgun and then fly back. Oh, fuck. Yeah, motherfucker. Use some of that. Use some of them dice. You got some darkness to slip slap. I'm curious because I'm John is two. not a monster, so I don't know how John can react in any of these situations. This is going to be really fucked up for him. Not very great. I wasn't expecting to be John tonight. Mm, I believe not. <laughs> oh, it works in John's that's, favor. That's only a five. Okay. So, so I fly over there with time stopped, and then time unfreezes. Yeah, right while you're in front of him. <clears throat> As time unfreezes, John realizes with his now just amazing awesome agent mind that the the, uh monster fixed for him in that crisis that happened so long ago and he just holds on to his shotgun and he asks one more time what are you doing on my property and Uh, he just holds his ground john we're with the division it's a subsidiary of the d pick i'm gonna need some credentials uh i pull out uh an id card yeah you got that oh yeah Okay. John, I pull out an ID card and show it to John. John looks it over, and it takes him a matter of seconds. He lowers his shotgun. You can let go now. I let go of the shotgun. What do you need from me? We are looking for information about Hubert. Mm, fuck. I was hoping this wouldn't be a problem for me for a very long time, but if this is what you're looking for, I've only got so much I can tell you. Anything works, we just need to speed this along. Better watch your tone, or I'll put you in the ground with the rest of the monsters that are buried. Now, all I can tell you is that, well, we finished our last mission here as Huey, James, and John. Of course, Regina, rest in peace, my baby girl. (laughs) And right in this moment, uh, Guy gets a phone call. Um, I answered the phone. Guy, Chase. Oh, my God, this guy. Hey, so turn on your camera. No, why? Just why do would it. I do this. Just do it. Like FaceTime. Yeah, sure. I put you. No, on it's FaceTime. my space time. <laughs> <laughs> my space time. I like how that's pretty cool, but nothing. I I turn the camera on. Okay, I'm going to try because I'm looking at him now, and I'm looking at the trees in the background, <laughs> and I'm gonna. Oh, you oh. fucking! <laughs> I like that. I like I'm, this. I'm, I'm just gonna. Sh- I'm gonna attempt to shadow jump I to, like the, this. to the shadows behind him. Yep, I like that. Go for it, brother. This guy. I know. <laughs> oh, it's a ten. That there fucking you go. golden, right there, brother. Go. And I, I'm gonna pop out of the shadows behind you, and then the call goes dead. <laughs> <laughs> when that happens, when that happens, yeah, John turns around with a magical silver dagger. And it'd be behind me. You wouldn't oh. have to turn around. Well, then he just yeah. It's, while, it's in your so while he's holding that shotgun, he actually. Uh, with his left hand, grabs out a magical silver dagger and gets ready to throw it. I put my hands up. Hey, hey, it's just Chase Graves from Grave. Chase and Graves was Chase Graves. I don't fucking watch TV. Right, Is he just... with you? Yes, unfortunately. He puts his dagger back in in his back pocket. Self obsessive guy. 
I get that feeling. This guy murders people. I also just, get that just feeling assuming. too. <laughs> Look. Good assumption. I don't like to be bothered unless it's by the locals. Is there a reason you're here? Like I said before, information about Huey. We, we believe he's trying to open the door again. Again? We talked to James. I talked to James. All right. Let me ask you one thing. What, what do you know about the current Huey in our world? We assume that, well, what I heard from James was that no, he No, no, believes... let me be specific. Is he aging? We assume so. Fuck. All right. Look, I was worried about this. After James had passed, I, I kind of stopped the search, but he's only got so much time left before his human body he inhabited is completely deteriorated and his power starts to wane. And figured. after that, he's gone. So, yeah, he's probably trying to open the door again. I can't tell you much other than during that incident back in the 60s, he, we, he was just a boy. He didn't know any better. He had a wife and a kid on the way. Mm. Didn't I deny that? Yeah, don't matter what you said. I think, <laughs> I think I denied him having a wife and kid. Well, it's been brought up multiple times. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. He was just a boy. He didn't, he didn't know any better. I don't know. It was, a, it was a rough couple of days, and things got real weird. But Huey showed up, and he, uh, he managed to be just enough of a push for us to finish our... Well, honestly, to keep going. It wasn't just to finish that, that moment, that mission, that single consequence of, of dabbling in these matters. He, he was the one that kept us going even after we realized he was left behind. And I blew his hand off, and that's all I've got left. And uh, honestly, I've been holding on to a little bit of this flesh and bone just to make sure that maybe, possibly, I don't know. I'm not supernatural, but you got to collect the evidence, keep it intact. If you can maybe use what's left of him and the information I give you, that's all I have. So from what I'm hearing, you don't know where he is. I know where he's at. It took a long time to figure this out. After we finished up that night, we went our separate ways. Huey got his hand fixed, or so we thought it was Huey getting his hand fixed, and he was supposedly sent home by Oberon. But that's the last time Oberon had even seen him was after fixing his hand. His wife said that he never came home. And I started getting... I don't these weird cases that involved a man with a some magical hand. It he was he was very smart and always ten steps ahead of me. And eventually James just he couldn't take it upon himself. He wanted to take care of his brother and his wife and his his nephews and it was just a matter of time before I got I mean, I don't look it, but I'm aging too. I've got one fight left in me, and I'm just waiting until I have to use it. I hope this is enough information for you guys, but that door, that door's in Arkham, Massachusetts, in the observatory at the lower level. If Huey's going to open that door, it's not Huey. It is a creature of the darkest depths, and you have to kill it. I wanted to kill it back then, but I didn't have the support from James, and it just didn't happen. We ended up closing the door with Huey's sacrifice, but it was in vain. You'll probably find this creature inhabiting Huey's body in Arkham, Massachusetts. No. Mm, that's all ways out. So you, you have some of his flesh? That's what I, you're saying? I know it sounds weird, but the that's, one thing I learned uh, the one thing I learned in the D pick is any evidence is evidence. We had a weird encounter with some buttworm things, and James made it very clear that we needed to keep this specimen intact. And James was my mentor for all of those years. Mm -hmm. I may have been quicker, stronger, but he was always the one that led us. After he stopped, I couldn't keep on. I just solved small cases on, on the road, just trying to keep the peace. That's all I've got for you. Please, just leave me alone. Um, we got what we needed from you. But before we leave, I spoke with James, and he wanted me to tell you that he's sorry for blaming you. What do you I'm mean? sure you know what that means more than I do. I, 
I just need you to go. And Thank John, you, John will take his shotgun, and instead of walking towards the hut, he turns right back around and walks off into the wilderness. Uh, John, John, before you go, uh, can I have that flesh? Uh, I know this weird flesh goblin. <laughs> and uh... Uh, John, John turns around. You know what? Something feels familiar about you three. And uh, two, two. There's only two of us right here. Yep. Well, the division only works in threes, along oh. with the D pick. Touché. I'm not that rusty. Something feels familiar about you three, and I believe that you can get the job done where I couldn't alone. And I've got one more thing I got to take care of personally. And John chucks a key to Guy, turns back around. Good luck, kid. Uh, and he walks off into the woods. I'm assuming this for your house, John. And he just keeps John. walking. Yeah, I can't imagine what else that would be, guy. What an asshole! I shoot over <laughs> to his house and unlock the door. Yeah, you unlock the door, and um, it's a very minimalist place. There isn't tons of maddening shit in here, like a a dude that worked at the D pick might might possibly have, or at least to your knowledge. But uh, you you dig around for a little while, and um, inside of a desk drawer, there is a what looks to be silk, but it has just that that little bit of energy, you know, like it like it almost gives off a little bit of light, and you open it up, and uh, inside here are weirdly I'm not gonna say pristine because they are pieces of somebody's hand. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, for as long as they have been in John's possession, not horribly decomposed. You could possibly assume that whatever the magic is or, or possible aura that this cloth has might be keeping it fresh or in a stasis or whatever, but these are actually, like, this is probably what you assume to be pieces of Huey's hand. Um, underneath these pieces of, of Huey's hand, though, is like a little note, and you open it up, and inside of it, it says, <laughs> stuff. Don't sniff glue, you sons of bitches. <laughs> oh, how <laughs> dare you. You gotta do it in John's voice. <laughs> don't sniff glue. Yeah. Hey guys, don't sniff glue, <laughs> sons of bitches. <laughs>